In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up smart watering on the Beehive Smart Sprinkler Timer. And so what you'll do is you wanna open up the Beehive app and then you'll come in here to zones. So, so the way the smart watering is gonna work is that it's gonna work for each specific zone because every zone is gonna be a little bit different. So we'll go ahead and tap on zone one. We'll tap on where it says in yellow smart details. So first we'll go in here to soil type and then we'll tap on whichever type of soil that we're on, on this zone. If you're not sure on any of these smart watering details, at the bottom there's a question mark that you can tap on, and then this will help you know what kind of soil that you're on. And so you can go through here and you can read each of these, and now you can know if you're on clay, clay loam, loam, um, etc. So we'll go back, and now we'll do plant type. So for me, I'm on cool turf, and once again, if you don't know what type of landscaping you're on, you can tap on the bottom with this um, question mark, and then it's gonna go through and tell you the differences between each landscape. So we go through here on what kind of sprinkler type is on that zone, how much sun or shade this particular zone is getting. That's gonna play into our smart watering details. Now here we have slope. So if you are on some kind of slope on this specific zone, uh, that's important for the beehive timer to know um, because it's gonna water differently according to um, what kind of landscape you have. Sprinkler count, that's pretty straightforward. We'll say we've got seven or eight here. I'm gonna skip catch cups for now and go into water scheduling adjustments. So this is something interesting. So. What's nice about the Beehive Smart Sprinkler Timer is that if you are in smart mode and you're noticing that, okay, maybe this, this specific zone is getting a little bit too much water or maybe not enough water, you can go in here and you can, rather than changing everything, you can just go in here and you can say, okay, looks like it needs just a little bit less water or maybe it needs a little bit more water. Um, so you can adjust the actual runtime. And then down here, you can actually adjust the intervals in which you water. So that's a nice feature. Advanced details, what this really is, it's, it's us putting all the different details into smart watering, and then it calculates it here. But um, if you want to change any of those calculations, you can come in here and you can change them. Um, I wouldn't recommend it though. So here's catch cups. Catch cups are really cool. What catch cups are is they allow you to really find out how much water your sprinklers are putting out on each zone. It allows you to measure. There's a button here. If you don't have catch cups, you can buy these and I'll leave a link below as well um, for you to get catch cups if you need them. And so I'll show you how to use them. So what you would do is you would, if let's say you have five sprinklers on your zone if you had five sprinklers, you would take five catch cups and you'd put each catch cup between one and two feet away from each of your sprinklers. So once you do that, you would say, okay, let's test this. This doesn't really matter as much, but I would recommend doing between five and 10 minutes, depending on how much water um, your heads are putting out. So we'll just say for five minutes, we'll run a test. Um, so we'll go ahead and press play. So we're gonna pretend like this went all the way through and then we're gonna be done. So we had five sprinklers, right? So we had five catch cups and now you would measure each of those catch cups. So this is actually what the real catch cup is gonna look like. And then you'll just see wherever the water is, whatever the water level is, you can just input that here. So that was my first one. This was my second one, third, fourth, and fifth catch cup, okay? So now what's that gonna do? That's gonna tell me what my application rate is. So that's how much water that I'm putting down per hour. Now, I, I did kind of a phony test here um, just for demo reasons, um, but that's what it's gonna tell you. And then it's also gonna calculate your distribution uniformity. So basically how efficient your sprinklers really are. And now that you've done that, once you hit done, now that is going to um, go into the back end calculations for how much water beehive is getting put down on your lawn. So last but not least, we'll go ahead and turn on smart watering. 
and we're ready to go. So that's how you set up smart watering on the Beehive app. Now, one thing that we need to do is we'll need to do that for each of our zones. Once you do the first one, most of the things on the second, third, fourth, fifth, however many zones you have are gonna be the same. Um, but so the first one's the hardest, but once you get through the first one, the rest of them go pretty fast. And one thing to note, you don't have to have sprinkler catch cups in order to use smart watering on the Beehive app. If you have it, great. It makes it a little bit more dialed in and a little bit more accurate for your smart watering. But if you don't have it, you can still absolutely run smart watering without catch cups. So that's how you set up smart watering. If you have any questions, ask us below and uh, we'll be sure to get back to you.